Hi y'all, uh, Shane here along on 67 um, just with the yeah, completion video for the Panzer 1 the uh, Panzer Veilswagen uh, which is the uh, armored command vehicle I think a, a cellar port, um, a victory pipe is in order but um, so as you can see everything is done the base is completely done a little bit of shrinking here on the edges um, when the clay receded, so um, I'll keep that in mind for next time. So um, I'll just do a quick pan so you can see actually get an idea how it's all the trees are. So quite a bit of height. So it has a, a nice kind of sense of scale to the Panzer One. I've added. Um, So I've added uh, grass and um, flower tufts here, here. Uh, this is a stone from my back garden that I painted into the base to make a match. Um, the base was it's basically a, a blue foam insulation um, insulation foam um, core. Then what I did was I uh, um, put a, another piece of blue foam for the rise here of the hill, sanded it the shape. Once that was done, I decked the entire side of the base in balsa wood, just to give it a nice kind of in front of commas, uh, professional appearance, which I know I hate using that word in model making. Um, and then uh, I used air dry uh, modeling clay. Not as good as the stuff that Hanakar Barkas uses in his, but um, it's the best I can find for. A reasonable price um, and what I do is I took various different stones and ballast and uh, kitty litter um, to and I spread it around the um, spread it around the uh, the base into the into the clay while it was still wet and um, pushed it in with my fingers just to um, embed them into the clay and then once the clay had set I uh, went over the went over the uh, the gravel work with um, tin down, uh, tin down PVA glue, just to seal everything in and protect the foam as well. Then, air, then uh, while the, also when the foam is still wet and the clay was still wet, I uh, bore the holes for the trees, and then just put um, cocktail sticks into into the into the bores to stop the the um, to stop the clay from filling them in. So we'll do a quick kind of three sixty. The entire thing was airbrushed. Then some pigments, uh, a pigment wash went over the uh, went over the clay and over the uh, groundwork just to blend it into the into the same dark colour as the vehicle. Very proud of this actually. Very happy with this base. It's the best I've done in a long time. I think what really added to added to it was the flower tufts, which are from Army Painter, as are the grass tufts. But the the flowers really made it. They had a lot of colour and a little bit of texture and fire and like um, just broke up the monotone. The trees are from uh, Jordan, which are a German company. Um, it's a train company. These are very delicate trees. Um, so be very careful with them in the sense that if you knock them you'll break them type of thing but they are very very convincing though I'm, I'm really happy like it sometimes trees don't look too real at all when it comes to model making and these are some of the best I've seen in a long time um, the, the tufts, just in case I'm repeating myself, they came from Army Painter which they do wargaming accessories, paints and glues and stuff like that, something they're not pretty good um, the paints I use for just various earth, earth tones. Um, I kind of went in a little bit too dark with the earth, earth, earth tones, I believe, I think. But um, I'm not too bad. I went in a dry brushed, um, kind of light buff tan colour to simulate the ground turning to like the turn to a heart. To, you know, sorry, I'm sorry, I stutter. 
Would you still stimulate the, uh, the ground? Uh, beginning to uh, hard bake. So, um, you can kind of see like the little tonal variations here and there. So that's, that's really it. Just a quick uh, photographic or video update on it. Very, very ha happy with it. Very looking forward to building the other Panzer one in my stash. I might pick up a lot more of these because there are a good few different variants and they're all, they're all unique and individual. So um, I particularly want to build one with the Afrocore. But um, that'll be later time. I don't like building the same type model again and again, one after the other, because you just get bored of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some photographs of this, have it all in a nice little background. Um, while, while what's going on is I uh, received in the post today some, I'm going to do this out of the way, some nice goodies. Uh, I've got some surface primer. I've got some German... Um, Dark yellow, the donkey gelb, or dunkle gelb, gib, yep, yep. Uh, which is gonna be handy for especially for my uh, bikini tiger. Uh, what else did I guess? I could have sworn I got it in. Um, I also got uh, various other colours. I got um, aluminium satin varnish surface primer, which is a German red brown for the armour, uh, and I got decal fix and decal set, mediums from Faleo, just as uh, I ran out, and also, I don't know how well you'll see, I've also broken out my, uh, it's a little hard to see that, because the lighting isn't great, because I don't have my studio light set up, I have some old studio lights, so I have my uh, uh, demonstration board set up for doing the black powder um, tutorial uh, next Monday. I have proper, um, they're over there in the corner, I have proper photography studio lights, I'm going to set up either side so it won't be as dark as this. And I'm also going to have the uh, black material draped over just to make everything look nice and sexy. So um, that's, that's going on there. Uh, Lady Lance was over today, uh, and we were talking about the hobby, and uh, we're going to pick a, a topic that we're going to do kind of a, a group build together ourselves, just pick a couple of figures. Plenty of Napoleonics to paint, or um, I think I might do some stuff for the American War of Independence because uh, I like that period in time. They also, uh, this guy is almost finished. The uh, guy I do the tutorials for, for Muscle Mondays. I've also got some Napoleonic horse artillery. You see the crew in the background there, the guys in the blue with the bearskin hats, and the gun, which I airbrushed and then dry brushed colour odours. Very happy with that. It's cool looking gun. I have to put some washes over it now and some stuff and uh, just with age and weather the gun bark. So that's that. Um, it's a pretty quick video. Also the 25 pounder. I'm going to bring this back in the shot because that's why that's, this is what we all want to see. Um, also the 25 pounder is um, getting primed itself, the gun and the, the lumber and I'm priming them in the filet colour. The surface primer, surface primer black, much better than the um, AK stuff. Really don't like the AK primer. This is super smooth. Um, as I intend just to put layers of paint and no masking over it, because I'll be using to do the weather chip effect. I'm going to be using. No, actually, I have, now I have an airbrush. I, can, I might actually be able to use it properly now. Uh, where is it? Uh, from AK Interactive. It's just basically um, the same as hairspray method. I'm going to try to use the worn effects. And I've still got the satin varnish now. I can actually put down the uh, the the, uh, the thing down down like a proper coat that should react quite well with it. And I also um, I'm going to be starting on the Typhoon and the ME110 this weekend. And that's really it. Um, thanks for uh, giving me your time and listening to me babble for a few minutes. I'll have some pictures of the up up uh, up of this at the end of this video. So thanks for following this build. It was it's been a blast. Really enjoyed it. I've learnt a lot during this build, and I hope to apply for my next build and have my my next build better still. So thanks very much, lads. Um, look after one another. Uh, watch out for those buses, and I'll see you in the next update, lads. Bye bye.